That's attractive. Oh, that's really, that's great. <laughs> Hi, it's Tuesday. Watch your Tasty Tuesday show where it's Tuesday. I try to make something tasty. Sometimes it works. You just tried to take a nap for 30 minutes and ended up sleeping for three hours and now everything feels underwater. I'm just over here trying to do a good job. Right, Franklin? Today, I picked a recipe off Pinterest that I just basically just Pinterested dinner, good dinner, and this came up and it looks, it looks good. It looks like some good dinner. Hopefully, excuse me, hopefully it is some good dinner. I got my sous chef Franklin with me. He's gonna judge it. We're all gonna have a good time, hopefully. If you can get your sleepy ass to work. Does that sentence make sense? We don't know. Yeah, of course it did. We don't question things in this kitchen. So we're making some spinach artichoke dip stuffed pasta shells. Those are things that I've never had together at one time in my mouth. Have you? Sous chef says no either. Go just go the right way. You normally go this way. There you go. They look amazing. I hope they taste amazing. I like each of them separately on their own. So together it feels like it should be, oh, what? What are you, bye. He didn't want any part of that. He does not like mixing dishes. Together, it seems like they'd be amazing. I like both of them separately. What could go wrong? You try and tell me something's gonna go wrong in this kitchen, I don't believe you. Let's make this dish! Just a reminder before we start, Slap It High t-shirts are on sale for one more week. One more week only. After a week, they go away. I don't know where they go. They go home. They get called back home. Okay, so if you want one, get one. A link's in the description. I like them. Super cute. Thanks for requesting them. I dig your style. Okay, so since we're making spinach and artichoke dip stuffed pasta shells, we're gonna start with the spinach artichoke dip. I already prepped some of the ingredients because I'm very professional like that. We're gonna start by preparing a cash crema. Sometimes people use cream cheese. I've had it with cream cheese before. I'm curious to see what it tastes like with cashew crema. But anyway, into a blender I put some raw cashews and a cup of coconut milk and a half cup of water with some salt and pepper and voila! You got some thick ass, creamy ass, cashew ass crema. Cashew, bless you. Okay, we're gonna set that aside. We're gonna take a large sauteing saucepan. I don't know if this is a sauteing saucepan, but it's what I use to saute and the world's just gonna have to deal. Medium heat. To our saute pan, we're gonna add some olive oil and one medium chopped sweet onion. I wanna saute these babies for five to eight minutes. I'm sorry, you're not babies. You're fully grown onion chopped pieces. Incredible. I'll see you in five to eight minutes. Okay, it's been about four minutes with these onions, but I'm worried and don't want them to burn because they're already starting to brown. So I'm gonna add to this two cans of 14 ounce artichoke hearts. Rinsed, drained, and roughly chopped. Again, <laughs> prepped my the fuck up. Sorry. So we're just gonna saute these with the onions until everything is lightly browned. I don't know how long this is gonna take. I'll let you know when we get there. Okay, so I've been doing this for about eight minutes now and I don't really know if they're lightly browned yet. I can't tell. I don't really see color. Everything looks equal to me in my eyes, but I don't want the onions to burn. So I'm gonna call it right now. I tasted a piece of an artichoke heart. Tasted pretty bomb. Not much else to say about that. That's my assessment on this situation. So now to our sauteness, we're gonna add three cups of our cashew crema that we made. Cool beans. When was the last time you heard someone say cool beans? I miss the 90s. Look how beautiful this is. Oh my gosh, doesn't that look good? I love when sauces look like you could paint a wall with them. Was it last week that we made avocado ranch like that? I think so. What is time? Oh wow. We wanna stir that too, cause then things are, will stick to the bottom, I've discovered, if we don't stir. Yo, be cool, everyone be cool. We're all cool. They're getting a little too crazy over there. I don't really know about those guys. We're also gonna add to this two and a half tablespoons of nutritional yeast. So nutritional. So yeast. One and a half tablespoons of raw apple cider vinegar. This is quite a concoction. One tablespoon of lemon juice. Two teaspoons garlic powder. Are you even reading this? Hello, wake up. Wake up from your long nap. Thank you. A half teaspoon of paprika. A pinch of nutmeg. A half cup of water. Water? I hardly know her. This doesn't even look like water, so I really, I hardly know you. And two 10 ounce bags of frozen spinach. It doesn't say to like warm up the spinach or like drain it or anything. So so I'm guessing we just throw it in there. Oh shoot, we were we weren't stirring. How could you forget? So many things to add while you're supposed to stir. What how are you supposed to do all this? I'm not a machine. Although I do look like a sex machine in this shirt. Huh? Alright, this could be you. Links in the description. Spinach. Hello. Hi. Get in there. <laughs> all frozen. Is that so? This looks Terrible. This looks not like what it's supposed to be. I, I feel like it's wrong. I feel like it's wrong, but this is what the instructions told me. This happened a lot to me though. Sometimes it feels wrong and it's so right. You just gotta let life baby. You just gotta let it. I'm sorry, you're not a baby, you're a grown up. Excuse me. <laughs> These are just blocks. I'm a 
about this. You know what? Maybe we weren't supposed to get boxes. Maybe we were supposed to do bags. Put your spinach rectangles away. Excuse me. What a shit show. I also have bags just in case. Just in case. The recipe does say two bags of frozen spinach. Let's just do this instead. I don't know what those block things were. Let's just forget it ever happened. Okay, that's... <laughs> That's better. At least you can chisel this down. So you're gonna wanna just really chisel your spinach down? It still feels wrong, but it feels better wrong. I should've used a bigger saucepan, I think. Hindsight's 2020. We're only in 2018. Oh my gosh. Are you joking me? Are you joking? Are you joking me? Are you joking me? Nope, just put everything behind us. Just forget all of this happened. None of this happened. We're gonna cook this for 10 to 15 minutes is what the recipe says. I'm gonna let you know my progress at that point in time. Hopefully it is progress. Get a shirt. Hi, it's been somewhere in between 10 and 15 minutes now and I think our spinach dip is good to go. It's like super good. I tried some just now, worth it. Remember when we tried to use the box spinach? Don't, don't remember that. Look at, look at, look at, look at this, look at this. It turned out great. I'm really tempted to maybe just stop now while we're ahead, because this tastes so good. Try this dip. I'm not done yet. This isn't the end. Or, or is it? It could be. This is the end? It could be. <laughs> There's two parts. So first you make the spinach dip, and then if you want like a fancy dinner, you make the pasta stuffed shells with the spinach dip. Now. Isn't that so good? This is really good. So good. So don't eat all of it, but like I just wanted you to try. Is it tasty? Very. We have an out in case we wanted to quit now while we're ahead. I can eat all it was of tasty. Now. We're gonna continue though. In case you want to risk it and make a good dinner, potentially a bad dinner, but potentially a good dinner, then we can continue. But just so you know, you could stop here and it's all good. Life is good for you. Let's preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna make a dinner and you can tell me if it was worth it to continue going. Now that you've had this bombness, seriously make this and take it to a party. This is so bomb. We preheat our oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna take a large pot and we're going to boil our shells in. We're gonna get a box of jumbo shells. I guess I should have said that part first. We're gonna boil them in water because that's how you make pasta. And then I don't know the next step. I'm just taking it one step at a time, okay? You need to calm down. Our water is finally boiling. Water takes so long to boil. If I was to go back in time, I would have started boiling this while the spinach dip was cooking. What are you even thinking? Also, if I were to go back in time, I'd say, hey, no on the box spinach. Also, if I were to go back farther in time, I would say, hey, in invest in Bitcoin. Anyway, water is boiling. We are going to take advantage of this by boiling our shells. Boil them for nine minutes. I don't even think I needed that much water. Live and you learn. That's the sound of our shells being ready. I think, hopefully, or it's lying. Are you a liar? Ow! This, why? Why have metal handles on a metal pot? Once it gets heated, I can no longer pick this up. Thanks a lot. Too much to handle. Too much to handle. You got it. I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. Okay. Dinner takes so long to make. We could have just stopped. We should have just stopped. Spinach dip, more like, you're finished dip. You're done, don't, don't continue. But if you were to continue, which we have chosen to do, we're gonna take our marinara sauce, a jar of marinara sauce, and we're gonna put three to four tablespoons on the bottom of a casserole dish. And get saucy. I'm putting five tablespoons. Shh, don't tell anybody. Be extra saucy. <laughs> and you can too, in this shirt by Nikki Limo. Slap it high. Links in the description. Okay, let's see if these shells are ready to handle. <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> oh, those are wet. So now we're just gonna take our spinach dip and spoon spoonfuls of it into our shells. However much you have left, you know? Maybe you don't have any left and you did it right. Make sure that you not only get it in the shells, but also around the shells to just like really waste that spinach dip that you could have eaten. Yeah. Okay, this might take a little bit of time, but hopefully it's all worth it. See you in a second. Oh my gosh. Go ahead and slip on the drainage from your shells that you dripped on the floor earlier and didn't clean up. And then um, our shells are all stuffed and we don't even have enough room for all the shells that we made. If I were to go back in time, I would say, hey, make half the box. Use a smaller pot, less boiling time. Have a good life. Have fun in your life. Because there's a hell of a lot of shellas that didn't get used. Wish there was a word that rhymed with Ella, but it doesn't. But we got these, and that's all that matters. We also have leftover spinach dip, which I don't hate. We're gonna set these back down on the counter after showing you, and we're gonna spoonful a bunch of marinara sauce on top of the shells before putting them in the oven. How much do we do it? I don't know. I just kinda like make it look like the picture, I think. Okay, once our shells are all marinara we're going to cover this with foil or parchment paper, and we're gonna put it in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. Could have been done an hour ago, but chose this. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. Time to see if this was all worth it. Time to see if 
life was worth it. The worth of my life depends on this dish. It smells good. It's almost one in the morning. <laughs> It's fun. I don't know how to tell if it's done. I feel like we just decide. I decided this is done. It smells really good. I hope it tastes good. I'm trying my best to have a conversation with you, but I don't know what to say. I guess I'm just gonna serve these up on plates and see if they're tasty. Yeah? Sound good? Let's end this. Let's get finished with this spinach dip. Nikki, out. Check it out, check it out, check it out. And check it out some more. Dude, that looks dope. I hope it tastes dope. Let's find out. Okay. Okay. We finally have some pasta stuff shells? What? I don't yeah, know what it's called. Sounds right. Some pasta. Pasta shells stuffed with spinach dip. Natural ingredients from the kitchen. I'm nervous. I really want to impress Gordon Ramsay. You know what I mean? That's I what really Gordon Ramsay That's I how really Gordon, Gordon Ramsay would say. Lovely. Can I do it standing up? Yeah. Okay. Do it. Do whatever you want. I don't fucking care. Wait, you gotta stand up too. Oh. To get my good angle. Oh, okay. Because I'm Gordon Ramsay. Hey. So Nikki came in. She's trying her hardest doing this job. And I will say, the food Brilliant, beautiful. Hopefully they can keep it up. We'll see. Uh, fucking hell. If she can get together in the kitchen, she'll have a future in this business. And then he puts his hands in his pockets. <laughs> uh, okay, well. Now you try it. I'm good. But um, no, you should try it like in the same way. Like you should walk in the frame. Here, we'll do it. Ready? Here, ready? No, 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 I'll stand up and. Are we gonna try the pasta shells? No. So much to you, so many pasta shells. Try a bite first. This is your job. Oh, yeah, wow. You, beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> wow. Yeah, I did it. Yeah, now put your, okay, now stand up. What, what, what'd you think of it? That's tasty. Okay, now, now stand up, put your hands in your pockets. And now, say, now say hey, what you thought pockets. of it. No, no, but now say what you thought of the dish. But mimic pockets. It's tasty. Okay, now you gotta walk away. <laughs> That's good! Wow, that was really good! Thank you! Hey, good job! Thank you! Honestly, the parsley, the celery, everything inside of the shell. Beautiful, beautiful. Well done. Oh, okay, great! Well, I think it's tasty, according to Gordon Ramsay. I'm really happy about that. Was it worth the extra steps to make it into a dinner? Beautiful. I think so. Beautiful. Alright, I think I'm stuck married to Gordon Ramsay now, so that's great. That's an, a contract I didn't sign. But I think this tastes great. I can't decide if it's better just as a dip or as a dinner. I like it as a dinner. Yeah? Even better than as a dip. Hell yeah! Oh. The dip is great if you're going to a party. Dinner's great if you're going to a not party. <laughs> Welcome to our not party. Well, subscribe so you don't miss any of this. Go ahead and buy a t-shirt if you want one. You got a week left to get one. If you don't, then you know you don't. And you never will. But please do if you want one. So they're there. Also, come back on Thursday. There's sketches, I think. There might be a sketch. There might be a sketch. Thursdays have been a party day. You should just come back on Thursdays all the time. Every time. Okay, bye! <laughs>